Hello everyone, hope you're having a great weekend and in this video I want to talk a little bit about the Nick collection. To be more precise, I want to show you four different filters of the Color Effects Pro 4 filter collection which will help you to enhance the light conditions in your landscape photos by adding a vibrant golden color to lights throughout your image. This will not only work for Photoshop, since this plugin can also be used in Adobe Lightroom. Also if you don't want to watch the whole video, here are all the names of the filters I will be using throughout this video. So let's get started. And if you want to follow along, you can find this exact image in the description of the video. And now to apply the first effect, of course I'm heading to filters. Nick Collection and check Color Effects Pro 4. And I want to start by using the Brilliance Warmth filter, which I only recently discovered, but I use it already quite a lot because it just adds this natural, nice looking warm color tone once I increase the warmth. And of course, if that's not enough for you, you could also increase the saturation, but most of the times I'm going with a boosted perceptual saturation. Since this kind of affects the highlights more and does add a more subtle vibrance to the image in my opinion. Then with the cross balance comes a filter I don't use that often, but in this case it can be quite helpful. Right away it does look a little bit strange. In fact it does look like the wrong white balance was used for this image, but if we head over to the drop down menu and we are choosing one of the upper presets. You can see this filter does a really cool job at adding some warm color tones to your photo. Also depending on how strong you want to affect, you can obviously play around with the strength a bit. Then for the next filter we have to scroll down a little bit and here we're going to apply the remove color cast filter. Of course the main purpose of this one is to remove a color cast from your image, but we can also use it for the opposite purpose as we want to have a nice warm color tone. And here we can simply drag up the color slider, which will then give the image those warm color tones. And again we can just increase the strength to boost those tones. And last but not least, I'm using the skylight filter. And this one I usually apply on sunset images because it just applies this very, very vibrant look to the image. Now, if I turn up the strength, you can see this works on this shot as well, but it will also boost the blue color tones quite a lot and make them look weird. So in this case, you might want to apply a layer mask and mask out certain areas. Alright, and those were the four filters I wanted to show you in this video. My favorite one of this list is definitely the Brilliance Warmth filter since it offers a nice balance between rich colors and a realistic look. If you are going for a more dramatic change, I would recommend maybe the cross balance or the skylight filter. But of course, you could also give the remove color cast filter a try if you want. Of course, this could have been done without the Nick Collection plugin by simply using some adjustment layers in Photoshop. But this plugin will just save you a ton of time in my opinion and makes things so much easier. So I hope this was an interesting video and hope it was helpful for some of you. If you have any questions or feedback then please let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.